Hello students, I hope you are all fine and in good health. In this audio presentation, I will discuss a few questions that is related with report writing. See, I have written report writing solved examples. Uh, a question I have discussed here. Kindly let us go through this. MMD School Nasik recently organized a science conference on the topic. And what is the topic? Effect of pollution on quality of life. You are Amit or Amita, editor of the school magazine. Write a report on the event of your school magazine. Remember, it is not a newspaper report. It is an event report that you have to write for a school magazine. And the word limits, it has been mentioned. As you know, by this time, it is 120 to 150. So how will you proceed? At the very beginning, you will write a report on science conference held at MMD school, then you have to give a comma, then you have to mention the place where it was held, that is Nasik. And obviously in the next line, who are you actually, that you have to mention, that you will get in the question paper only. From there you can easily copy by Amit or Amita, editor of the school magazine. Now as I told you in event, uh, I mean, uh, in event report or magazine report, date and time, you can mention but separately you don't have to mention it you can mention while you are framing the answer as you can see here it has been done a conference was organized on 1st march 2018 you can mention any year that is up to you in the school on the topic the topic also you will get from the question only you can copy it from the question effect of pollution on quality of life all the science students were a part of the elucidative program that means all the science students of the school participated in this important program now you have given a formal intro now in detail you have to discuss it what was the event all about what exactly you have seen in the event because you have to give a report on that the event started with the felicitation of the guest speakers thereafter the participants were exposed by suraj prakash he acquainted them with the objectives and goals of the workshop now a person resource person by the name of Suraj Prakash. He was there who conducted the entire workshop. And he ex at first, he explained in detail the objectives and the goals of the workshop. The resource person, Dr. Hariyom Gupta, he was also another resource person, reflected his profound, profound means intense, knowledge on the topic and highlighted how important it is to curb the menace of pollution. Now, Hariyom Gupta was the resource person. Another resource one, the main person, he introduced us and not only that, he gave a profound, I mean, he gave his lecture and also shared his profound knowledge with us related with the topic. And it is very, and he also suggested that it is very important for us to curb the menace of pollution. An exalting demonstration of the effects of pollution on our lives galvanized the engrossed participants. Now, everyone was so highly influenced uh, regarding and got, got a lot of information about the ill effects of pollution. After the lunch break, Dr. K.K. Arora, resource person, another resource person by the name of Dr. K.K. Arora, exhibited the possible steps that can be undertaken at the personal level to reduce pollution. Now, he... Uh, also on his part gave a lecture and made us uh, aware of the possible steps that can be taken on the personal level to reduce pollution. It was followed by another session on the basic concept behind pollution reduction which triggered the young minds into thinking innovative ways. Now obviously some basic concept clearing uh, demonstrations and lectures were also given that actually uh, triggered the young minds, the young children, so that they can also uh, implement many innovative ways to reduce the menace of pollution. Now you are moving on to the final segment. An interactive concourse ignited the inquisitiveness of participants. Concourse or you can say discussion. Inquisitiveness, it is related with eagerness or you can say it is related with curiosity. They have committed themselves completely to bring about a change in the situation. The informative workshop culminated with a vote of thanks proposed by the head of the science department. Finally, it ended with a vote of thanks proposed by the head of the science department. So in this way, you have to frame a report. I am moving on to one more question. 
uh, this is also a very important one this is also an event report because normally you will find this type of questions been given in your uh, I mean in your board exam so these are this is very important question is you are Karan or Kirti of LM Memorial Public School Dwarka your school has adopted a village as a social responsibility very important students are being taken to teach the children of that village on a regular basis so students from your school are going to teach the children of the villagers of the poor villagers on a regular basis from your school write a report for your school magazine on the various other programs organized there in 120 to 150 words apart from that what are the other various programs uh, that are that are organized that you have to mention that you have to write on that apart from this novel service so how will you start remember it is a report that will be published in the school magazine it is an even report so but heading is very important see it is given village adoption a step towards being socially responsible and then either you can write Karan or Kirti now you have to elaborate but first you have to give a proper intro so what you will write on the occasion of the World Literacy Day, LM Memorial Public School Dwarka has taken an oath to embrace the village named Rajpur. So obviously on the auspicious day of World Literacy Day, so LM Memorial School, you can mention a school, it has taken an oath. Oath means a pledge or a promise that uh, it will take the entire responsibility of a social responsibility of a village named Rajput. The school has taken the responsibility of educating the people residing in the village. So it's a novel thing. The school has taken the responsibility of educating the people who are living in the village. Selected students from each standard are taken there every weekend. Selected students uh, from each classes are taken to that village on a regular basis every weekend during school hours and why they were taken so that they can spread knowledge impart knowledge means so that they can spread knowledge to the children of the poor villagers the first six month motive is to make each and every person capable of reading and writing so the target that first six months every person in the village must be made capable of reading and writing on their own free books and stationery is being provided for quality education Children are given time to spend with each other, play games and interact. Now books and other uh, necessary stationaries were provided. Children were also given time. I mean the maximum time was spent with the children also. And, ch and with the village children, the school children interacted also. And uh, they play games also together. So it was a very, very uh, educative moment. It was a very innovative project also. It was a novel service also. Apart from educating educational needs, special care is devoted to hygiene and sanitation also. Girls are being given various awareness uh, of the importance of menstrual hygiene as well. So health and hygiene, uh, this was also one of the biggest thing that was being done. And the girls were also given information about uh, health and hygiene matters. Various talent hunts have been organized which left everyone Overall, the immense enthusiasm and excitement and zeal in the people to learn is the main driving factor. So it seems that the village people, they were very much enthusiastic. They were motivated. Not only uh, they were given knowledge regarding education, but also given knowledge regarding health and hygiene also. A family kind of environment is being created. A homely atmosphere is being created. The school treats the people of the village as its own students and is unbiased. By adopting a village, the school is making its students sensitive towards the needs of the environment at a young age. The most positive thing is that the school children, they are being made socially responsible and sensitive at the same time from a very young age. It is committed to raising the leaders of tomorrow. And obviously, who knows, a leader may emerge in the near future out of this uh, school children or out of these village children so it's a great community service it was been done by the school so this is a report that is related to that so dear students uh, listen to this audio presentation very clear carefully and if there is any doubt anywhere kindly let me know thank you students thank you all